Several weeks ago, a massive sinkhole in the Morris Park section of the Bronx made waves across the Internet. Elected officials and commissioners for the Department of Environmental Protection and the Department of Transportation are now giving a walkthrough of the area. Everyone's seen and talked about the van in the sinkhole, and we've been here on the scene since that happened and what we've been doing together within the communities listening. Council members Marjorie Velasquez and Selvina Brooks Powers say community residents have continuously experienced severe weather conditions, resulting in floods and sewage backups following the opening of the sinkhole. Well, I'm not a stranger to flooding as someone who represents Southeast Queens, where we have um, historic flooding in our community as well. We are committed to working on this issue. It's record historic level of funding available on the federal level, so we're working with the city agencies to identify um, grant opportunities. These grant opportunities will ensure communities like Morris Park get the federal funding they need to receive infrastructure repairs to their neighborhood. Councilmember Velasquez explains how community involvement is needed for this process. And it's having that conversation with the community and doing it in reasonable hours uh, because at the end of the day, it's trying, finding that proper balance of urgency um, and efficiency and wanting to make sure that families are involved and they know what's up. Residents impacted by the sinkhole and flooding in Morris Park are encouraged to call Councilmember Velasquez's office at 718-931-1721 for assistance on how to file claims they may be eligible for. Reporting for BronxNet, Kibbenaline.